What is up YouTube, it is Coach Corey, and today we got another map breakdown, and this time we're going over Hard Rock Mine, personally one of my favorite maps, although I sort of love Smash and Grab, so I'm a little biased, but I'm going to tell you how to do on this map, what sort of roles you should have, where each person should be going, how to spawn trap, how to come back, and at the end I also have some gameplay with some music just for you guys to enjoy. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so to start out, let's go over where each person should be going in the beginning of the game and what sort of roles you should have and what brawlers should be filling those roles. So first off, you obviously want to have a gem carrier, and the three gem carriers in the game are by far Poco, Pam, and Bo, right? So you always want to have at least one of those on your team, and honestly, they're all pretty good options on this map. In my opinion, Pam is probably the weakest option just because it's easy to surprise people on this map, and she is just not as consistent in my opinion. But they're all good options, and you can make any of them work depending on your team comp. So use whichever one you want, but you need at least one of those. And if you are the gem carrier, the gem grabber, you're going to want to be going in the middle start of the game. Something like this. Either one, doesn't really matter, it depends on your team. And then also, of course, you want to have what I call an aggro. Someone on the team who is going to be by themselves a lot of the time. Is going to be spending a lot of time just focusing on killing people. And really trying to annoy not only their gem carriers, but just getting easy kills, easy matchups, taking advantage of their matchups specifically. So aggro, in my opinion, should always be starting left. Although in reality, you can also go right. It really depends. You want to talk to with your team. I prefer always going left just because I think top left area is a much better place to be as an aggro than top right. So that's why I think you should be going left. But you can go right. It can definitely work out the way. In my opinion, though, if you're aggro, you always want to be going left. And in general, you want to be going far left. And you're really trying to hide and be sneaky, especially on this map. With all the grass as aggro, you're really trying to sneak around and try and get sneak kills and surprise people. And really do damage fast while you're surprising. That's the main thing I was going to be focusing on. So you really want to be trying going left. Now you can, it is kind of hard to go left sometimes. If they have someone like a Colt, a Spike, anyone who can do a lot of damage fast goes left. It's going to be hard for you to really push up far. So you're going to be focusing on dodging and just trying to get to behind this wall and then try to make some jukes. If you can get your super, it'll make it much easier next time at the least. As far as who should be playing that role, actually, there are a lot of great options on this map, and you can really make almost any of the aggro characters work really well. So it honestly depends on what you prefer. You can go with a Shelly, you can go with a Tar, you can go with a Nita, you can go with a Bull, you can go with an El Primo. They honestly can all work really well on this map, so it's really up to you. In my opinion, I prefer a Bull or a Shelly. I think they're both really good, and they can do a lot of damage fast in grass. I think that's one of the reasons they're so strong here. But honestly, any of those options are good options. It depends on what you prefer and what your team comp wants. Now for the third character, the third character is going to be what I like to call the support role. And they can pick up gems potentially, but they're mainly focusing on dealing damage and killing enemies and making sure your gem grabber doesn't die. So that person is going to want to be going left and they can either be going like that. They can potentially go over here too, although preferably not. Generally, they're going to want to be there, and their job is going to be making sure, for one, that no none of the enemy team is going by them. If anyone is going by them, the person to blame is probably going to be the support character. They want You want to be making sure no one's getting behind them. One of the things that Smash and Grab is when people flank you, it can really cause problems. If you have someone who's behind you and in front of you, it can be really hard to escape, and at the least, it makes it much easier to get at least one kill, and much harder to be controlling. If you can make it so they can't get past here, you're going to be in a really good position and it's going to be much easier to hold the gems and keep the gems and really control the map. So the support character, in my opinion, the two best ones on this map is Ricochet and Colt. Although in reality, there are definitely a couple good options and it depends on your team composition. So other possible options could be something like a Spike. You could do a Tara since Tara is a, bit, a little bit of a longer range um, aggro character. Barley and Dynamite are potential options as well. Although I think this map is a little open, so it doesn't really suit throwers especially. Those are probably the best options for support, especially with Colt and Ricochet. Okay, so now let's go over what this is going to look like. So this is going to be the general area you're going to want to start out at the beginning of the game and any neutral point where neither of you really specifically have control. If you're the gem grabber, you're going to be in the middle, as I was saying, going back and forth, depending on if there's enemies you can hit multiple times. You just want to be focused on dealing damage, grabbing gems, most specifically staying alive. Now your support is again going to be on the right, aggro on the left. Your gem grabber can honestly be shooting any direction, depends on where, if they can either finish off a kill or if they're just dealing damage, but they're probably mostly going to be focusing on the middle, although if someone crashes left or right, they can also help out as well. 
if you're the support, you're gonna to wanna to be focusing on making sure no one is in this lane, and then also getting people who are over here. And if anyone really is aggressive and is over there, then that's another possibility as well. If you're aggro, you're obviously gonna be focusing right there and also there as well. Okay, now let's talk about the ideal positioning or AKA the position you wanna be in when you're trying to spawn trap the enemy. And smash and grab spawn trapping is very important as it really allows you to get a lot of gems and it really allows you to control the game. So as I was saying earlier, if you're aggro, you really wanna be in the grass as much as possible. You really wanna be surprising people and the best place to do that is top left in general. And you really wanna be going back and forth, trying to switch up where you are um, and just try and get sneak kills whenever you can. The enemy is going to be expecting you over there, so you have to be a little careful, but that's definitely the best place to be. And if you have control of the top left, it's very easy to control the game and force the enemy to go where you want them to go and makes it much easier to hit your shots in general. Now, if you're the enemy, you're going to be able to get to around that area while invincible. So you just have to be aware of that. It's going to be definitely a little hard to try and force them back right away. But in general, like if you're the gem grabber, you can be shooting here or here. Support, obviously similar. You can be shooting here, 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 whatever. All right, so that's the general positioning for spawn trapping. One of the most important things to keep in mind though is while you're spawn trapping, definitely make sure that no enemy's getting behind you. If that happens, it's gonna be a lot harder to keep control. And that's really what, what allows the enemy to get back in the game is any sort of thing. People are flanking you, someone doesn't see them. It's hard to really keep in mind where all enemies are at all times. So it's definitely easy to happen. So you have to be very careful and make sure you're communicating with your team and stopping that from happening. All right, so let's recap really quick. So for Hard Rock Mine, you wanna make sure you have your gem carrier as either a Poco, Pam, or a Bow. And then you, they're gonna be in the middle most of the time and they're gonna be playing very supporty. And they're gonna have someone who's usually on the left as aggro. And their main job is gonna be being in the grasses, sneaking around, trying to kill people, just being annoying in general. They're gonna try and not pick up any gems. And then you want someone on the right whose main job is to make sure no one ever flanks on the right. That's very important. And they're also supporting the gem carrier, making sure they don't die. And they can be a secondary gem picker upper if needed, but preferably the gem carrier gets them. I think the most important thing on this map for making sure you keep control is making sure no one flanks you. And if someone does flank you, try and take that opportunity to double team that person as they're usually somewhere near your spawn and it's hard for any of their teammates to help them out. So definitely try and take advantage of that. Now, if you do find yourself being spawn trapped, I think one of the easiest ways to get out of a spawn trap is to try and make sure you secure at least one of the sides first before you ever go in the middle. Anytime you go in the middle and you're being spawn trapped, that's usually the furthest person up on your team. And it's really easy for the enemy to double or triple team that person. And then again, you're at another disadvantage because it's really hard to get out of a spawn trap if you don't have your full team. So try and make sure you have the sides. Try and get positioning first before rushing in. You want to try and out position the enemy and that's going to allow you to get better shots and then you can be able to kill enemies much more easily and then you can get double teams and you can build up on that and then establish control again. All right, everyone, so those are all my tips for Hard Rock Mine. What map would you guys like me to go over next? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please enjoy the gameplay and music. All right, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.